Adam Mazzeri, the CEO of Instagram, recently said, We're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app. Which has got a lot of people asking, should you still post photos on Instagram? Or should you go all in on video content between Reels, video, IGTV, and live streams? Well, in the past seven years, I've grown a ton of Instagram accounts into the hundreds of thousands of followers and have grown like 10, 20, 30 plus clients also into the hundreds or multiple hundreds of thousands of followers as well. Here's my honest thoughts and advice based on my experience with Instagram. Yes, you should still be posting photos. Instagram is no longer only a photo sharing app, only being a keyword there. They are still a photo sharing app, but not only a photo sharing app. And in saying this, you should consider adding video as well as photos to your Instagram for a multitude of reasons. As this is a format of content that Instagram are promoting more, partially because they're trying to take on the likes of TikTok, but partially because video in general, TikTok aside, is more engaging in many situations than just photos alone. Not in every situation, but in a lot. And content that is more engaging that people spend more time on will naturally do better better than content that people spend less time on and it is tends to be easier to get higher watch time on a video than an image or a carousel and this higher watch time leads to better reach inside of the Instagram algorithm however at the end of the day if your images are more engaging than your videos and you make better content in that format then do that because the algorithm rewards engagement and watch time, like we just said. So you should realistically be optimizing for whatever formats of content can achieve the best engagement and watch time. Now, as a rule of thumb, good video will outperform good images when it comes to Instagram. However, amazing images will still outperform good video or good images will outperform average video. So this is more a question that depends on your strengths and doubling down on what you're really good at and what format you thrive in. Find the most engaging format that you can share your message and share your value with the world on Instagram and really focus on it. Whether that be reels, infographics, carousels, IGTV, live streams, etc. Find that space where you have that competitive advantage over other people and just go hard on it. I've seen accounts that do really well off images alone. Even after these updates, they are blowing up just posting images. I've got images on my account Millionaire Dream that have reached over a million people from the explore page on a single post alone. I know people who exclusively post images that are doing really, really well still. I also know people that are doing video really well and reels really well and there are some accounts that do IGTV really well which is probably the hardest format of content to master but some people are just really good at that so they focus on that so if you're great on short form videos post reels if you are great at keeping people engaged for a sustained period of time and you're talking about news or issues or value and you're really good at it IGTV is probably gonna be the best fit for you. Although bear in mind, it's extremely hard to get someone to watch a two or a five or a 10 minute IGTV video on Instagram. You might be better looking at YouTube. If you're great at design and you thrive there, but you're really shy and don't wanna be on camera, then carousels or infographics may be the way for you. Find your thing, find your strength and dominate it. Spend 80% of the time on what you're really good at and then 20% of the time experimenting with other content to keep your skills fresh and keep learning new things. And also so you don't neglect other features on the app is sometimes incorporating other features even if you're not great at them will help you grow because Instagram likes seeing that diversity of what you're doing. Now personally on my personal brand slash company account at Cleverpreneur where I post like Instagram tips and so on, I've been very, very inactive recently and haven't really posted. I've pretty much been busy onboarding clients, setting up systems for clients and getting clients results that I haven't had a ton of time to post content on there, although that will change soon. However, when those systems are dialed in and I can bring on new clients, I will get back to posting really consistently on Instagram to fill up my pipeline with leads and customers, of course. And when I do so, here's gonna be my strategy. So I'll just give it to you now and you can copy it. My focus will be on creating short, sharp, valuable reels to reach new people. I'm then gonna be posting probably more in-depth content in my feed with the goal of serving my existing followers. So the reels go out there, they're short, they're fast, they're interesting, they're eye-catching, they reach new people, bring them to my profile, where I'll then have more in-depth 
feed content which may not grow a ton of people but can serve those people that come to my profile and then i'll be posting story content with the idea of documenting what i'm up to showing some day to day and generating leads for my offers i probably won't be posting any igtv i can't imagine i'll be posting any regular video i'll probably stick with those three and that plan that piece of advice there alone is probably more than what you'd get uh, and it's probably better advice than you'll pay for in many courses so just leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more that's all i ask for also side note i do have a completely free ebook and four day follow-up training series which you can get at the top like link in the description at the end of the day the most engaging content and the most valuable content that serves the end user the best is what's going to do the best on instagram or any social media platform for that matter some content however is easier to achieve that result it is much easier to create a 10 second reel that engages with people who don't follow you and goes viral than it is to create an image giving the same amount of value and engaging someone for 10 seconds like it's quite hard for some, to get the average person who doesn't know who you are to spend 10 seconds on an image of you so for me personally i can create a 10 second valuable reel that captures people's attention and it takes me 10 minutes or less to make yet it would be very hard for me to create an image that brings off that same effect hence why i said above that i'll be using reels to reach new people and grow my audience and then feed posts to serve existing followers because i know that's not my strength on the other hand a designer who's really introverted and doesn't want to get on camera and doesn't want to even put their voice out there may be able to create really really good infographics or carousels which reach new people and grow their audience however they might not want to post reels so for them it's best for them to double down on creating amazing carousels and images and shareable content that way which they can use to reach new people and build their audience because that's what they are good at and i would still suggest to this person as i mentioned earlier to maybe spend 20 percent of their time learning reels playing around with them they're probably not going to reach new people because they're probably going to be really bad at them but when they consistently do it on in the background for a few weeks months six months they'll eventually get more comfortable get good at it and then they'll be able to grow their audience with both feed content and reels double down on what gets you results work on creating a holistic strategy to get the most out of instagram and don't worry too much about the day-to-day -day changes of the algorithm p.s if you are a business owner that needs help with this creating content creating a strategy and implementing it and making it work then feel free to book a discovery call with my agency we'll get on the phone see how we can best help you uh, if we can help you and uh, so on so go do that also i've left a ton of links in the description for a ton of resources that will help you get results on instagram i've got my free ebook which every single one of you should go ahead and get which runs you through instagram and it comes with a four-part video training series to help you get results as well i've got free trials for all of the tools that i use in the description i've got my full instagram course and as mentioned a link to my agency if you are a business owner coach expert etc who wants to get results that's it from me hope this video helped like and subscribe for more i'll see you all next time cheers